Hey everybody, Son of Beasts here. Welcome to another Stanley Cup Playoffs for another gaming matchup. This time, Game 5, St. Louis Blues are playing back at Calgary as they already got crushed here from the game of the Game 3 and 4 at Enterprise Center as the Flames destroyed them for two games of the victory in a row. The next one could be the end for for the Blues if they wanted to try to make a stop. Well, I'm not sure what will happen here. There might be another way that somebody else can definitely make it to them here. So we have two teams that made it to the first round and won the series. We have the shout out victory score here of 4-0 of New York Rangers moving on to the second round. And then the Florida Pampers destroyed the Washington Capitals in Game 5 of 4-1's game. And they're moving on and taking on against the winning team. In the Western Conference, there aren't any uh, team winnings here over there just yet. But we'll find out if there's a chance now for the team to head on to the second round. So, it's time to send you over to the Scotty Bank Saddle Dome. That's the next stop location to return. And my next uh, commentator that I will have here is Silver Spoon. Yeah, he will be on his way right now, so he will be uh, he will be checking out this game and see if he likes it or not. So keep your eyes on us on his channel and Life Ring, of course. Let's get started for Game Five. We're back at the Saddle Dome of Scotty Banks in here of Calgary. And this one's going to be a, a lot of energy board to bring things for flames and smoking things here in Game 5. So, are you ready for Game 5, Silver Spoon? Yes, I'm ready. It looks like it's my first time coming over here. I'd love to see how this one comes in there so far. Here for the Western Conference out there. This should be a fun one in between. For the start, we have lifted off here and we're underway. The icing is the call on St. Louis. That will be only under, under, like, under a minute seconds here on this play. O almost about 30 seconds here for the time on ice. Now Perron will help. Good oh, he went down hard. That was very tough to make this uh, play decision. All because he had no... That point around is just gotten out, got knocked out. Calgary's back in the offensive end now. Now he goes right to McCullough. McCullough gets off shift wide. Arkwoy with a with a weep out. Gooder inside. Little shot wide. Now he's just off the back to Perron. Now he goes right to O'Reilly. O'Reilly hasn't really made his score, making his debut in there. And, oh, they're not going to count it. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I think there's, uh, there's a chance that goes. Yeah, he knocked the goalie over. The goal net, that did turn out to be a very tough one to go by. Wow, this was a shock. This was almost going to be a goal here for St. Louis. Well, the, the call was, was stand. It was a no goal. So that got me scared. <laughs> I know that one. It's scary and kind of weird. But I have been just really good with it so far. Wow, very tough. Close one. O'Reilly has already have gotten some great goals here and for the first couple of games. But since about he has done here for the last couple of games here, playing against the regular season. And not this time, we'll hold on a second as Matt Lynn takes the goal. The Flames are on the board right now as it takes a one nothing game in Game 5 of the Stanley Cup fight of the playoffs. Blackline has his first goal here in the playoff session of Game 5. He's going to do it again! Oh, it's Pennington with a save! And you're telling me that it looks like that, that Lundell has gotten to the greater high of speed here. 
Now might be the Flames' uh, advantage to the second round. They might be looking for another team to get right by it. St. Louis wins here on the uh, face-off in the defensive zone. Now he moves over to Taransko. Carrying it along in the middle. That goes off here on Markstrom. Now off to Toffoli. Toffoli hits up a year on around the board. And let's try this one again. Um, Ryan O'Reilly has gotten some great or higher average out there. In between the games, it was a very hard one to go right by it. How did this all turn out for you, Dear Silver Spoon? Well, I guess that it looks like Brian O'Reilly was definitely doing great. And in regular season there too, I think that might be a very good one to take a uh, chance here. And he's doing a lot that hard to get right by the pressure. I know that Ryan O'Reilly is doing well at this point. What a lucky guy. Still lots of time left as we didn't make the hit the uh, midway, half midway point yet here for the first period. Saw it up, up here, back up to the behind the blue line. And it goes off the goaltender. Tanav in the puck run along the board. Now look it. Up to Mahanen. Monahan right in the in the wing. He gets whipped down. St. Louis into the attack, back in the offensive end. Takes a shot. Off again on the goaltender with a with a shoulder in the leg. That was a tough one to hear to make that save. He didn't get them pressure out there. What a great play by Mark Schoen. Still more time left here as the St. Louis Blues were almost had a goal, but it was carried off there too soon. Now St. Louis tries again. Wow, what a great glove save by Mark Strong. And he will hold the puck here at 14 17 to remain. The higher risky of the quick draw of Ryan O'Reilly as Life Ring is standing by. The only one of the at this lifetime is getting some a lot of great impressions here. The slapping of this shot of his goal is to the one that he needs to go from the eye on attack of Ryan O'Reilly. This is all that he has great thing here on the better side of his attack that goes from any direction at each of the game. We'll see what Ryan O'Reilly has to do for the next one if he can try to stay alive. Guys, back to you. The Blues keeps it up here on the other side. Now it's Collington right to Lingo. Guru right inside the offensive end. Off the trial slip. Oh, he just got it. And he saved the game by minute 10. Ryan back in the offensive end. Takes a shot. And this one goes up in the netting and out of play. It's a lot of hustle and hustling here for Mark Strom. What a great play here for the stoppage. St. Louis keeps it going on to get some work here. Now Guadaro getting a close right down here to the midway half point. Only 12.20 left. Bennington will hold the puck here as this one stops by. Calgary keeps it going. Tanev outside, close save by Bennington. He was quick in time with some quick reaction out there. He knows his way. Glove save, easy trick. And there's still plenty of time here left here as the Flames still have one nothing in the game. Now he tries again. Tanev inside. Shoots. Saved by Bennington. And this one keeps it going in trouble and range. Right in between those two was a very tough one. I am a bit scared that Bennington was even quite getting a lucky one. And the player is all by himself? Well, I have no complaints about him, but he was, he was doing really well. Other well, appointments out there can be very tough. Can be cool. Terrence Hanko up to Thomas. Shot wide. Back line right back to Tanev. The Flames working away around the cross in right past the blue line. Krog with this takeaway. Now he goes into the wing with the shot saved by Mark Strong. And it's on the chest of a pad. 
still no score yet for the uh, for the St. Louis Blues. It is under 11 minutes to go. Now St. Louis wins it. Falk right over to Krog. Dishes off to Buchnevich. Karasenko gets off uh, out of traffic and Lindholm takes a steal. Calgary working in the defensive end. Passing the neutral zone. Inside going in the slot. And gets the jump caught up in traffic. Buchnevich clears the puck. This now goes to icing on St. Louis with only 10.03 left. The puck is dropped, and we're and we passed the midway half period. Terence Sunko has the chance of the board and now has the puck in control. They shot the Butchovich. Oh, what a save by Markstrom! He's delivering a quick time reaction out there. They like to freeze the puck out there. They wanted to keep it in eyes out there. Just like a, like a fire drill going. St. Louis wins the faceoff. Krug outside. Saved by Markstrom. Now he moves quickly to Kyleton. Up to Lindholm. Lindholm right past the blue line. Taking the shot, and it goes off in heavy traffic with a two-man advantage. A two-man advantage goes well over the defense here, so it should have been like a, like a two-man on defense. They wanted to pressure things, and that could be very hard when they go right by it. O'Reilly up to Saad. Saad's going to pick up steam. Shot in and in wide. Fault up to Furon. Burron shot, saved by current Mark Strong. Guru in control. Going inside, off of Bennington with the, with the wrist of save. Haran, right with the puck control, pass up to O'Reilly. O'Reilly, searching a man in front, gets out, caught up. Mangia Payne, he's got the puck in, right, passing the blue line. He will take a chance, and he says no. There is a no call out there. I, I would have been, I would have been finding out if there's a, if there's a no sorry or anything. I would have like, I would have known that there was a lot of saving moments. Coleman up to Mangia Payne. Off on the back one. Moves quickly over right in front. Thomas takes a steal. Thomas into the wing. Inside now! Shot went to Bois. Coleman. This is up in front of Anderson. Anderson the back one. The Flames picking up steam here on offense. Back one up! Backhand shot gets saved by Bennington. He looks like they were trying to uh, regain the group out there. You know, what, what could happen if there's another way to get right by here for the goaltender here? Well, you know what? I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't complain about that one. I have almost a lot of advantage out there, so it can be a very uh, tricky idea to find out that the goalies have some uh, good average here with the save. Oh, Bootsnippets went down! Okay, go up to behind me. Mana! Monahan, right to Toffoli, Toffoli, and it's Bennington with the save. Stepping away to the end of the third, first period, Calgary Flames still has one nothing into the first period. Now St. Louis goes right in control to get to work. Barakoy to uh, Barbashev. Babashev right into the uh, work off and gets off by Markstrom. Long kick off to the Toffoli. Four minutes left in the first period of the game. Toffoli up, save again by Markstrom to Benning Bennington. Steen right in the attack. It looks like there might be some heavier move out there. Now he goes right to Parakavoy. To Kuro. Crow passing in. With a shot, 
It's off the pad again. Barbashov. Barbashov gets caught off. Anderson right on the inside. A back to Gordaro. Gordaro has got it across. And it tips him back in there. Won't do the trick. This one gets caught off wide. There is some that's caught off wide at that moment. There might be someone getting there close by. But that can be a very tough, painful run. Hanavan right up along the board. Pass has been rejected. And Saw is going to take the odd man rush. Inside along. City by Mark Strong. Lennon. And, and the power of Koi will have to try to try to keep the man's opening. And Jehalia takes a steal. Tying up, shot goes wide. Have a boy up to O'Reilly. Moves in the middle. Her on up. Last minute left in the first period as Tanao gets us takes the puck. Going to have to live home. Good easy save by Bennington. This one is giving a good timing effort here. That gives him a good chance. Still, the 13 uh, face-off wins turns out to be St. Louis Blues and only four for the Flames. The Flames wins the face-off. Tanav inside, shot went wide and went traffic. Manji of pain, backhand shot is off again on Pennington with a save. 20 seconds left to go. And he would have been broken up out there. Tanav. Right off the back line. Five seconds. Benji a pain. With a shot. And he went off in traffic. And the first period has come to the end of the books. A lot of heavy matches in between Canada and USA. 1-0 is the score for the end of the first. Second period is coming up after the break. As we all set here for the second period, I'm glad you joined us here for today. It's about to go, go down to start the second period. The puck is dropped down and we start. Lindholm will take the puck in control right past the blue line. He will get it off to the other player, but it's Saab with the takeaway. Now it's O'Reilly. Oh, we're on a man! Oh, he took the lead and they tied it up! That's what they call it here for Ryan O'Reilly. He has one taking for him. Now he has his shot and it went off the shoulder pad and he has done. Most of his careers are the only way to keep him eyes on the prize. But that is what you need to know from the other cue angle that he has. That's what Ryan O'Reilly has. He has practiced and he has done some, a lot of intentional work out there. Guys, out of it right in the middle. He gets caught up in traffic in front of uh, Paracoy. Paracoy just trying to like get away with it. Peron trying to hold the puck out there. Finding Hannafin up to, to Kite. Kunaru up to Anderson. Shot with that. Resound saved by Bennington. It's rebound though. Sorry about that one. I can't make mistakes. This is where Brian O'Reilly has gotten some quick draws here. And just a better timing out. That could be very hard. Well, it may be a hard one to go right by. It. St. Louis looking for man openers across from the around the flames. Sawed up right into the wing. Inside now. Save is by Mark Stroll. Now the Flames go back to work here in offense. Gets whacked down. Up to O'Reilly. O'Reilly has his first goal here in game five. Whipped out a traffic sight. Out of it right to Coleman. Coleman get, cannot help his puck control this angle. O'Reilly up to Saad. Saad getting it back in there. Coleman with the takeaway. Mangia Payne, now in the award along the wing. Krug, up to Thomas, up to Buchnevich. 
Who's there a shot? That goes on Mark Strong with the save. Mark Strong very quickly getting in there, timing. Maybe a very tough one to go by. St. Louis with the win face off. Almost went tipped it in here, but it's Tanab and Mark Strong with the save. He will hold on it from here. Still more time here as there is a lot of chance to make some goals. They are still tied again. No leadoff change yet, but the next period could be the breakaway chance. Tapoli right in front of the Flames in the offensive zone. Now it goes off to Ply. Oh, Luke kick up! Oh, Bennington just really couldn't stop that one. This really does turn out to be just a save that he is going to put it up. Falk right passing the blue line. Tarantzenko and his Kyle team team with the steal. Monahan right inside and it's trapped up in front. St. Louis back into the offensive end now. Thomas shot. He scores! And it's now one, one goal game for a 2-1 lead. Robert Thomas, what a shocky, what a, what a shocky way to get right by it. But oh, what a shock of a goal that he has done so far. Excellent work. The Blues are now in front in game five. The Flames are trying to stop him. Lindholm inside, trapped up in front. Now the Blues carries the attack. And go to our inside. Who scores? The Flames are now tied up now by 2 2. And the game is coming down here quick. Uh, the back to back one. I feel it. There's much more than I have, have seen the, these players getting some good shots. They are all on the deck. Kuduru inside. Making a whip move. Bennington save. And it's Mikolia taking a, a chance to go back from the offense zone. Her on around him. Markstrom is a save. And this one stops the carry with 12.42 remaining. These only two has those this way. Bennington and Markstrom. Well. I have nothing else to say about it, but this was very hard, but can be a very difficult chance to make it work. I'll find a goaltender on back on Benny the Mark Stroh. Burn! Oh, what again! What a save by Mark Stroh! Burn and Mikola. O'Reilly inside, shot one to nine. This was a very hard one. It looks like the fans are all booing on them. They don't want that. Bennington takes a save. They hold the puck now with 11.48 to go. This one goes with the tricky by Tukarchuk. The tricky moments of this one can be a very tough strain here for making a tricky setup here. When Tukarchuk couldn't have his man here, if there's a man in front of him on the defense, this is whatever happens most of the time. That. What you need to know from one of the thing to make this one happening more than often. Now that one will be the tough one to go right by it. We're going to see what players makes a tricky shot here in between zones. Guys, back to you. Takata Chuck right from here for Bennington and he takes a save and 10 6 to go in the second period. Still lots of time left here as the scores are still even. Only two and two between St. Louis and Calgary. St. Louis wins the defensive zone. Okoya up to Thomas. Thomas whips his way inside the offensive zone. Shot blocked by Anderson. Manji a pain right in the offense. Wow, what a great D. Turned out to be for St. Louis. They're trying to stop him by. Backline shot. Off again by Bennington. Bennington really did see that one here coming. 
Commandment Japan score! It's a 3 2 game, they break the tie! Man Japan, my goodness, this was like the only tough moment to go by from. What a play standing. Man Japan has his first goal in game five. Now it's a 3 2 lead game in, in the series. Try to look for a 4 1 series to win it all. It may be very true, but we're going to figure out even soon. Backline, shot been blocked by Thomas and picking up the puck. Thomas off the power pass kill. And it goes off by back Mark Strong with the pass save and it goes off the wall. Lynn Home off the Goru. Goru in the middle. Payoko can't help it from the uh, from the man from the shot and trying to rebound it. Shane inside. He finds Barbashev. Barbashev shot goes off again. Karun goes down. There isn't some player ever players. They really are. They really got attacked. Me uh, knocked down anyway. Bakovic, Makoya. Up right over to Barako. Shen right inside the neutral face off. Barbashev shoots. Saved by Mark Stroll with 7 1 to go. This was a very tough one here. It's an easy save for Mark Stroll to go right by from here. Now here's Krug. Krug up again, saved by Mark Stroll. Tanev has his puck in control now, but it flames. Moving inside. This one goes off on pass. Erwin in with the puck. This is off to O'Reilly. O'Reilly as Lindholm takes a steal. Going for another one. Saved by Bennington. Oh, another save by Bennington. They will hold the puck now with just 6.05 to play here in a second period. There are so many timeout attacks here in between the ranges by the Flames and the Blues, but we don't know who had it further the most. Well, it looks like it was Blues that was not going to pick up their chance here. This was going to be all hand duck on the Blue to the Flames. This is all happening here for a moment of time to make the truth come by. But rolling up, and Bennington takes a save. Five under 5.30 left to play in the second period. And it's still a 3-2 goal game. Puck drop as St. Louis wins. Crawl up to Tofu. Over his arm. Oh, and he just went off the goaltender again. Now he whoops it across. Shot target went wide. Huron side. Up again. Saved by Markstrom. Huron up. Tries again. And a backhand shot won't come and come in. Anderson really. Just really wants to try to stop the puck out there. But I'm thinking there's another way to go right from here. It was it was Mike Strom. What a relief. Blues Kings control getting backward. They're trying to help here on a man offense to try to help them out. Off the side. Four minutes left here for the first for the second period. Tanav up across. Sweeps inside. Pass off of Bennington. And a shot. And he scores. Thomas takes the tie game in the second period. We are still even. Oh boy, we are looking for another bigger problem out there. <laughs> Somebody needs to call for help. Calgary wins the face off. Still no chance left here for the lead for the Flames to try to pick them back up. 
We have five left in the second period. Up to Tanav. Ten of inside. Saved off of Bennington. Now he will have to work his way around. Slip up to Butchkovich. Teres Anko shot saved by Markstrom. What a stopping play, Ryanich. And only 2.31 left to go. Wow, it's very tough and convenient out there. I may be showing what's possible left. Now it's Flames with the puck. Out of it right to Thomas. It's time to jump. Oh, he makes a steal. Now one for Markstrom. Now he goes inside again. Followed as just made another steal temptation to try things again. And rolling back again here is Gutterall. Let him inside. Up to Hannafin. Shoot! And it goes off wide target. Now we will try again. Markstrom, save again by Markstrom. This was a very tough one. We know that it was very, very close. But one thing about it, I won't mind. Now again to Krupp. Anderson up. Last minute left in the second period. Chipped up front. And it's Bennington with the save. He's now turning on one of his uh, better players here to try to keep this run alive. And I don't know what to tell you, but there is a lot of them going on. Now he will just right off again with the face-off win. Up again, it goes up, and it's stopped by Marshall. Under 20 seconds left to go here. Here's Gotoru. This one keeps it going far. Good her up, and he went shot wide. Yeah. And that will be the end of the second period. This one's like a toughest game in bound. 3-3 three, three for a period coming up next. The puck is about to be dropped here. Glad you join us here for the third period. As we're following around the set, to close this game. Puck drop, and we start now. Let's do this, team. O'Reilly inside. Markstrom delivering up at the glove save to start the third period of the glove toss. Of the uh, glove, glove check save. Quick glove drives out there. Quick uh, glove check here. And, and this one going with glove save. That is a good tricky word to make this one even more or in less kind of possible than usual. Lino right up here in front. Passing the blue line. Whips up in front. Gets a trap and Bennington takes a save. Bennington was not the only man who wants to stop in time. He was getting a lot of big usage. Now this one wins up for O'Reilly. Still getting there as O'Reilly will have to try to find the man advantage. Inside now, he gets with the inside and it's when it gets off in time. Takao Chuck has got a long puck of right across the board. And he gets gone down. Yeah, this was a lot much uh, harder than impact the more they fall. It was hurt. It was very, very painful. Around inside, gets whipped around by the Flames. The call right to par Paracard. No penalty yet for Calgary or St. Louis. Lay him up, gets whipped off in traffic in front. Oh, he just went off the goalpost. And Lindholm tries again, saved by Bennington. Looks like Bennington was not going to get, not going to slow down. He's not going to move him anywhere. He has to keep eye on the puck. Save again by Barak Colley. He fires the puck, sling it around from the boards. Now he wishes up, moves up to Hadabit. Catch up inside in the offensive end, and it's Bennington with the save. 
Miss Bennington, for sure happened to be here for some reason at this cause. It might be somebody. Face off win again for the Flames. Anathan right over to Colvin. Paracoy takes a steal with the puck. Only under 16. 15 left. This one wishes up, and it's Markstrom with the steal. Mangia Payne back again along the board. Gets caught up in traffic, and it goes down again. There was a lot of defenders out there. It could be very tough to try to fix things up a bit. Just another man on attack here, and this one goes shot off wide. This one will carry things up. Right over Turan Sanko. Turan Sanko has his puck in control. It's Ivan! He scores! It's now 4 3 lead for St. Louis. Everyone holds their horses, but not for Tarn Sanko. He is now delivering up a heat. The pressure is on the board there, folks. This one pass has been broken up. Magic Payne attack. Mark the call man up over line Collington. Shot! We are back and even. The Flames and the Blues are still tied up again. 14 24 left to go. I can honestly understand that Tom has got a really good skills out there. And it might be somebody else here that could be going for another one. Tonafoy all oh, went off the shot bound. Taran Senko right up into the attack. Goes inside. Saved by Buckstrom. Lukic right into the along the board. This off to Tofoli. He goes in traffic here, and that's not going to help him score. Perron. Up again. Up on part of Markstrom. Markstrom's got it in control now. He's in heavy pace. He's in panting. Lukic up. Scores! It's a one goal game. This now carries up 5-4, Flames in front. The one thing I call for Lou Kick is he's got a great self and stoppage here. What a run smooth play. We're under 13 minutes left in the third period. It's now a 5-4 game. Flames could be going for the win in the first round and looking for a man here to take the uh, offensive team side to the second round. If it's the Canes or Oilers. Tanab right over to Tafoli. Tafoli in there is saved by Mark Bennington. Follick up with the puck. Now he dishes off to Perron. St. Louis coming into the attacking end up inside a crease. Saved by Mark Shaw. Perron up on the board. Now he will help Monahan take the puck away. Collington in, in the attack. This off to Lindholm. Oh, slap shot went. He's off and Lindholm couldn't just try it again. Yeah, he's having trouble out there with the slap shot. I don't know what this is courtesy for him, but it looks like he is in, like, in a hard traffic in control to try to work him up a run. He could be very hard to try to stop him by. Sod right inside. Back with the pass has been rejected. Tonight, right to Chacha. Then on to Gauteru. Gauteru up, and it's being taken with a save. And we have reached, and we made it to the midway point of the period. Five fours where we still keep things on the board. This may be a very tough one to keep this thing eyes and pressure. I know that we're trying to keep it going out there. Just like I always seen them play before. Tarasenko right up at the board, pass up to Bucinevich. Wow, he got a hello there. 
This one's going to be a very Ralphus Ralphus man. The collision out there, boom, take it down. Lead on shot, and he scores! Alias Lindholm is just breaking his way in front. Now he is just like going for the bigger banger attack. And now his team is just keeping in range from the outside of the range out in front. Elias Renholm has got two goals in the game of the season of the playoffs in game five. This one carries out six for in the game. It's a lot of hard average out there. It looks like there might be someone going in by. And I think that might be a, a tough one run to beat out here very nicely. Butch Damage Scott's beaten up again. Gordaro. Oh, and it's now Thomas with the takeaway. Blue the Blues are working along the ships. And this one comes to the fight. Here they go. The fight comes down, and it's Blues taking the energy game control. That was very tricky all of a sudden, but they have gotten in pressure. They now know that it was the man that hit them hard. They know they were going to try to fight. Noah Hennepin and Colton Parco will be taking the penalty in the box here with just five minutes for fighting, while the play will resume here without the power play. Blues wins the faceoff. The shot goes to wide. Shane of the Torrenzanko. Gets seen up in the, on the bump here. Off to Collington. Now he went down on the right near the board. He was not even to pick up his pace out there. He's not putting in transition to get there through. McCoy out shot went off. Torrenzanko up. Backhand with no check on range. Shen right back to Terrence Echo. Up to Shen. Back passing over to McCoy. Coleman with the takeaway. Bert Shepard shot. Shot wide as Mark Strong with the take of steal. Anderson rules it over to Carlton. Back long. has got it across against the boards. Manji of Ainge right working up with a 2 on 1 attack. Manji of Ainge up to Coleman. Takes a shot. Save by Bennington. Now they will hold the puck and will freeze a bit with just 6.28 to play for the third quarter. There are somehow a lot of the time on attacks or the Flames. This could be the number one to add on to the second round if they win against the Blues. Yeah, the Blues are definitely in the hard transition, of course. Those between the uh, Allies that might be the Flames of their own idea to take. But for the Blues, they were, they were the Nazis. Still lots of time left for the Blues as they still need to get by right from an early one point game. Now Mikola will take it for fall. And now, saved by Markstrom. Mangia paying with the steal. Now he goes off again, the blue line, but it's Falk with the takeaway. Up to Saad, up again, saved by Markstrom. Nobody up there in front, and they have it again. What a relief out there. Man, that was the toughest one to make the luck. Wow, easy call for Mark Strong with the save. They stopped the clock at five minutes left in the third period. This now goes for the quick draw of Ryan O'Reilly. Ryan O'Reilly, the only man with the quick draw fire feed, now has it all in covered in front of the center. Those teammates can be the only man to try to uh, help them out with their encouragement here in the offense here for the St. Louis Blues. Whenever they have some trouble here, they will have some quick draws to have them make the face off. There might be some other one to go right by them, but we'll see if Ryan, Ryan O'Reilly can try things again. Back to you guys. Kachuk right into the uh, neutral zone, passing in to the uh, blue line. 
here with Little Score! That's three goals in the game! It's seven for the Flames! Look at that! That was Lindholm at three goals in the game! He could be going for three star players tonight! <laughs> I know that one. That was all he had. Now that goes up for another goal for the Flames. It's now a three-point lead for Calgary. Now it's Tanev. Holds off the Markstrom, and they will hold the puck to give it a whistle gear as they will catch their breath with 3.19 left. St. Louis winning the faceoff. Get bumped up. Leno right to Gunnaro. Gunnaro out and across right to the board. Play him again. Save again by Bennington. Now comes in the attack for St. Louis. Fish off again. That goes off target with the, not, with the man knockout way. Collington up to Gunnaro. Gunnaro up to Nick Combs. Lindo up. Good shot to Anderson. Takes a shot. Saved by Bennington. Stop the clock at 2.03 to go. It's still a 7 4 lead for the Flames. Their passing is just intense. Wow. The even of neck in the neck run of 93 percentage? There is a tough way to make them pay for it. They're doing a great job. I must wonder if there's another one that can go for another attack. That can be a very uh, difficult strange out there. In between the runs. That could be our good job at last. Coleman up to Michael and Jibia, and it's Bennington with the save. <clears throat> Game almost in completion as it's only a minute and 22 left to play in the third period. The puck resumes as the Blues win in right in the defensive zone. Up to Perron. 1-10 to go. Perron shot. Saved by Markstrom. Saw it up appearing. And it's saved again by Markstrom. Wow, what a play for Markstrom. He's keeping it out in danger. He wants to do things hard. Score! Ryan O'Reilly, two goals. It's now back to a two-goal game. Quick feed draws can be the only one to try to stop things right behind. Now that is fully taken care of, but their only reason why they can definitely tell the winding habit in appearance. And there is another way to go right in, in between layouts. There might be some uh, chance here that might be going for another way out. Guys, back to you. Mangia Payne Shan carries offside of St. Louis only 31.8 seconds to go for the third period. It's a fantastic game for the Canada of Calgary Flames and USA of St. Louis Blues. How do you think this play turned out for you, Don Silver Spoon? I guess I really like that one here too. It's not bad, actually, but there may be another one to go by. Excuse me, we got another goal! They're now turning into a one-point game and Brandon right inside gets his first goal. Oh boy, now this one's going to be a neck one to go cross to cross. If they make another one, then they're going to go to overtime. Now they pull the away of the net, and this one carries up out of play. Anyway, what do you think of this one? I guess this game's turning out great so far. There might be some other way to go right by him and try to help him out at the same, same time. Anderson couldn't help him try to like hold the puck around. Perron inside. O'Reilly shot save again. Eight seconds left. Save again by Markstrom. Three seconds. Hardiman clears it. And that will do with the Flames win in the series of 4 1. They're going to the semifinals. What a drag late play of a night here for Markstrom and the teammates. They are on fire already. Wow. 
An excellent day so far, but it's eluding the fans. They all have been joining against ourselves of an awesome game. What a night. So that will end it up here for the first round of USA versus Canada, as there might be a next one coming in for USA against Canada the second time. If not, then we might have a Canada matchups here in a second round. So the final score leaves out with a tough close call, 7-6. Flames are heading back to the second round with a best effort to make the list. Three star players of the game. Take it away, Silver Spoon. Thank you so much. Number two, number three is Ryan O'Reilly. Two goals he had, one assist and one hit. Turned out to be just good that he had it before. Number two, we have his friend and Saad. One goal and three assists. I must be going for the omission, but that was a hard impact. Now he's gotten some great skills to make the speed. And for number one is Elias Lindholm. Three goals and one hit. He is delivering us a game-winning streak like he had it before. What a game. And for Silver Spoon, thank you so much for coming here for this game. We will, we will hope to glad you have you back here for our next games before the Stanley Cup Finals. Thank you very much. I always appreciate them anytime you like. So that is it for this game. With Calgary Flames moving on, we're waiting for the Oilers and Kings to be playing here if there's a win in between here and there. Right now the series is tied already by 2-2. That will be happening tomorrow night here back in LA. Yeah, definitely the one thing that you can never go wrong with. And for the Tampa Bay Lightnings and the Toronto Maple Leafs, we'll have another game coming back in there for another game in on time. The Minnesota Wilds against Predators. There might be some another one to get right by. And Avalanche against the Stars. Well, I have nothing else to say about that one here, but I'd like to thank you all here for watching. And we can't forget about the Hurricanes and Bruins. That's the next game that we have to go for. Exactly indeed. So thank you all for watching for this game. Until next time, peace out everyone for us a while as the NHL 22 of the Stanley Cup playoffs. So with that being said, have a wonderful night here in Calgary of Canada. And the St. Louis Blues will be back next season with a hardly briefing moment. Thank you and have a great night.